hi and welcome back so this is where we ended the last video and in the last video what we did is we set the time zone for our web server and if you didn't watch that video go back and watch it so that you can set the correct time zone for your web server in this video what i want to do is i want to create a swap file a swap file is basically a memory location that will act as memory when my ram runs out of memory my my vps has a very low amount of memory so i'm going to create a swap file of 2gb which will take 2gb from this ssd space and we'll use that as memory so that's what a swap file is so you can create a swap file or a swap disk since i don't have the capability to create partitions to create a partition in my web server i will just create a swap file if you want to follow along with these steps everything is here and if you come to bizanosa.com slash vss you're going to find this and you're going to find this so this is the one i'm going to use in this video how to create a swap file in CentOS 7 just click on it and it will bring you to this post right so let's just get started and first of all let's see if we have any swap if we already have any swaps that have been created i've got to log in again So currently I don't have any swap file and that's what we're going to do. By the end of this video, if I run this, we're going to see that we have a swap file. So you can also see the free memory that we have. So let me just copy this and I want to see the memory that I have on my web server and the usage for that memory. And you can see we don't have a swap memory yet. But by the end of this video, we're going to have a swap. So when we run this, we're going to see that we have a swap memory that has been allocated on our web server. All right, so let's get started with the memory. So the first thing we're going to do is, okay, so this is just something that I added here. This will help you see the amount of space, the disk that you have, the free disk space that you have. So you can use that to check the amount of disks, disk space that you have. And it's not going to help us in any way in this setup. Now let's start creating the swap file. And the first thing we're going to do is you have to create the actual swap file. So this right here, this is going to be the name of your swap file. So for me, I've called mine the swap, but you can give it any name that you want to give it. Okay. So for me, I've called mine the swap and this is the amount of memory that it's supposed that it's going to have so if you want it to be 1 gb you can just use 10 24 if you want it to be 2 gb you can use 2048 and just in that manner if you want it 3 gb just 3 times 10 24 and so on okay but since we are on a very small vps i'm just going to do a max of 2048 that is 2 gb okay if you have more disk space maybe you can create more but for me i'm just going to do this this 2 gb so if I copy this, copy, and then I will come back here, just paste in that, and then enter. This has been created, the file has been created, and these two GBs have been copied. Our file, once we register it inside of, inside of FS disk, it's going to register this as a memory. You're going to see how to do that in the next upcoming processes so first let's confirm that the file has been created and we look at the property so this is just going to list the file okay it's going to list this file with its property that's what ls does it just lists files we want to list the properties of the file and i've cleared the screen here and then enter okay sudo 
das, das. So, this is minus L, enter, and that's going to, that's going to give us this. So if you copy this and it's not working, just, just change this. I think when I copied it here, it had some, it probably came with some formatting, which was translated into something else. But just know that this is ne minus or negative L, L. This is an L, okay? So just retype this negative L and it's going to give you this. So you can see this is a file permissions that you currently have. And these permissions are too open. So we are going to change the permissions for this to something more secure. So let's change the permission for the file. And we're going to change the permission using this just copy that and then paste it enter and now the permissions have been changed now let's run this command again and on my keyboard if i just press the up arrow it's going to bring me to that command and i can enter and you can see the permissions have now been changed you can see it's quite different from that right so that's the first thing we've changed the permission the next step is convert the created file to a swap file and we're going to convert it using make swap okay so this file has already been created but it's it's still not a swap file we just have the file created and if we use this we can use this to confirm to convert it to a swap file so i'm just going to paste that in there and you can see the swap space has been created so this will convert that file into a swap area for us now that's not the end of it we still need to enable it and then after that we're going to register it inside of our fs tab so enable the swap file So at this point, let's just see if we do swap on S, if it's going to show us that we have a swap file, even though we haven't, we haven't registered it on the system yet. So it's created, but we still need to add it here. But let's just see if at this point it's being recognized. And I'm going to do sudo. And you can see that we have one okay so at this point one has been created and it's being recognized it's the type of a file not a disk and the size and used zero and now what you're going to do is you want to add it to fs tab now fs tab is a configuration file that loads or mounts partitions so if you have partitions they will all be mounted they will be mounted using the configuration file fs stub okay so that's what we need to do we need to add it to this configuration file and what you're going to add is this so once we add this our swap will be available for use on the web server so copy and we want to open this and we're going to open using nano you can use vim as well so if you see vi that means you're opening it using vim but i suggest you use nano because it's pretty easy to use we're going to open that configuration file there we go so at the end here we are going to add this just scroll all the way down come back here and copy this copy that just paste it in there once you do that control x 
and then Y to accept the changes and then enter. So the soft file has been created. Now let's see about memory. If our swap file is being recognized among the memory. And you can see now we do have a swap file. Total 20, 47, that is MB. This is for 87 MB and used zero free 2047 so what will happen is you can see that we still have available memory as soon as we install vesta you're going to see that vesta will be consuming memory and php modules and so much more will be consuming memory and if your memory runs out you your system may crash so to avoid that we have added a swap file so when the memory runs out here what's going to happen is it's going to start consuming this memory in the swap file. So the goal of this video has been achieved and the goal was to create a swap file. And we have created our swap file of two GB. Our RAM is pretty small. So a swap file is necessary if you are on a low VPS, make sure you create a swap file. It doesn't matter which VPS you're using. As long as you have low memory, something like 1 GB, less than 2 GB, always create a swap file. Okay, so that's it for this video. In this video, what we've done is we have created a swap file. So if you want to follow along with these steps and you don't want to type, then you can just come here and start copying these things and pasting them in there. Just come to bizanosa.com slash VSS and you can open this and it will bring you here and you can just follow along with the steps and in the end you will have a swap file for your for your CentOS 7 server so i will see you in the next video